Hey guys, I'm Kurt from the Songbird Ultralight channel, and today I want to review the Midland X Talker two way radios. So awesome. These Midland X Talker T10s feature 22 channels and run off of three AAA batteries. I was looking for some time on Amazon and uh, looking through like lists of little radios and stuff, and I really wanted to find something very small. My thinking is that if it's bulky and a pain in the butt to carry, then it's not going to work for my intended uses. My fiance Hadley and I, uh, we go a lot of places together, we do a lot of things, we ride around a lot together. When we were EMTs, it was possible for us to use our radios on the truck and our handhelds that we had in the cabinet on the battery charger at all times to communicate with each other on scene, uh, even if we weren't next to each other, or if we were doing different things in different areas, if we were at different sides of a football game or something, uh, we were always in contact with each other. So my philosophy of use on these guys is just kind of to have them in the car, have them easily accessible, and to have some nice little easy to carry radios so that I can throw one at my fiance when I go into the store and she can talk to me while I'm inside. I don't have to carry my big CB portable so she can talk to me from the car. I can have this little guy and she can page me or she can talk to me and get my attention. And as far as my love of all this stuff goes from EMS, it's just plain fun. So um, one thing about that is if I go on a road trip with multiple vehicles or if I go on a road trip with uh, a couple friends or something, we can all have one. They're really not all that expensive. I think I paid under 30 on Amazon. So that's just kind of why I got them. Um, it's fun and it's practical. Um, my fiance and I have used the CB radio in the past. I had a, um, a big mobile unit in my car and there was a handheld that I would bring with me and she could talk to me from the car to that. And, and I liked that, but the CB is pretty big handheld and uh, I just wanted something small and easy so that she would take one too. She could clip it onto a bag or something or just throw it in her purse and it wouldn't be this big ordeal to be able to stay connected. So I'm just gonna look at the packaging some more here before I open it up. Uh, I, I've always really liked um, when you buy a piece of clothing, like technical fabric, uh, like a golf shirt or or if you buy like a jacket or something like that and it has all the details about the, the water resistant whatever or the fill type or how much it weighs like it's interesting to read that stuff so I figure I'll read some of this out loud and uh, kind of enjoy that aspect of getting something new you know so I didn't realize they were called the X-Talk or two-way radios I thought they were called the uh, T10X but I guess that's their full name so I'm glad these run off of uh, three AAAs. That'll keep the weight kind of low. And I was looking at maybe getting something that would run off of USB rechargeable power so I could, you know, charge them on the go in my car or charge them from a USB battery pack, which is also good compatibility with my other devices like my cell phone and all that. But after reading a little bit online, um, looking for them, I didn't find them. One of my main goals in looking for this kind of thing was that I would get something small. So. Three triple A's, no rechargeable option. I think it's worth it to keep that small form factor. So it's pretty cool. It shows a little picture of a uh, shows little pictures of uh, lightning, you know, thunderstorm, a tornado, and a hurricane. And the idea is that um, these radios also have NOAA weather alerts. And I like that there. I didn't really expect to get a warranty on any of this. It, it prompted me like, oh, pay $2 for a peripheral PC something or other on Amazon. And I never buy extra warranties, but that there's a three-year warranty on the products. That's pretty nice. And they all advertise like this. And I think to some extent they have to, to keep up with each other. Um, I believe that in a straight line of sight in perfect conditions, you, you could get 20 mile range. Like what is it? They call it mountain to valley, you know, no obstructions, line of sight. If I get a mile out of these in like, normal conditions where there's trees and mountains and things around here where it's very hilly I'm gonna be really happy and I can't wait to test it out again that range um, I, I don't need 20 miles I, I just need to um, talk to my fiance while I'm in the store and she's in the car or if she's on one side of the mall and I'm on the other um, we don't have to whip out our phones if she goes to one part of the campsite and she's over maybe near the bathrooms and I've gone down to like the beach at one of the springs we just visited down in Florida, then we don't have to be near each other all the time, but I can know where she is and vice versa. 
I like that there's a Roger beep. My CB radio doesn't have a Roger beep, and sometimes I wish it did because that way people know that you're done transmitting, you know, and it's, and uh, sometimes it's kind of fun when someone says something to just do the beep as like, yep, I acknowledge that I've received, you know, I heard you, Roger. And uh, it says that it has uh, Evox level uh, hands for use, which I don't know, does that mean that when I clip it to my shirt, I can speak and it just works? It'll be interesting to get into the user manual and play with it a little bit and see what it can do. So it does say on the package here that it is water resistant, which is good if we walk through the parking lot uh, in the rain or kind of drop it in a little puddle or something in the rain, like we pick it up and it should be fine. It does say here maximum range can only be achieved over water or open rural areas under optimum conditions. <laughs> Short range, major obstruction to line of sight. Medium range, partial obstruction to line of sight. Maximum range, no slight obstruction. So there's a Walmart that's maybe five miles from the house. It'd be interesting to see if we can speak over that distance with very few obstructions in that line of sight. Um, there might be one big hill, so that'll be a limiting factor. It'll be interesting to speak while driving away uh, and see when it cuts out. Maybe that's how I'll test it as I drive to Walmart. And then maybe we can test it in Walmart. That'd be fun too. Now it's time to open them up and see if we can fiddle around with them a little bit. Now I'm just going to zoom in on the product a little bit more. I'm going to zoom in on the radios and um, give you a better view of what's going on. You don't have to look at my ugly mug all day. So um, let's open this up here. I really like that they're water resistant. I wasn't expecting waterproof. Water resistance is really nice. The three AAA batteries aren't included, so I'm really glad that I have those ready to go. Some of my other equipment, like uh, some headlamps and stuff that I have for camping, use AAA batteries. Let's open that up. Guess this is a little promotional stuff first. Get free weather app by Midland. Huh. And then here's a little promotional material. We've got all their fancy little radios. Oh wow, they have a smaller one? No. Oh, uh, but this one, see, they, it seems they have an 18 mile range radio, which is probably a little smaller, but it doesn't have NOAA. And I really like to have NOAA weather radio. There's my CV radio right there. I didn't know that. Midland makes little video cameras, like wearable action cameras. That'd be interesting to try those out. Ah. Here's one with a 28 mile range that comes with rechargeable battery packs. And, uh, they are included, 700 ma. Huh, I've got the T10. I think it's probably the smallest, lightest one. If we really like these, we can always get the rechargeable ones later. Oh, it charges via USB. So that's pretty much exactly what I thought I wanted right there. It's just easier to see what's going on in these, these um, catalogs sometimes. You search online and there's so many different things that pop up. Huh, a little mobile radio for your car too. That might be something to get, that's pretty cool. It's fun stuff. And here is the guidebook, I think. It's funny. Um, with a little radio like this, right? And I know the frequencies are different and stuff, but you've got this little body-worn operation warning. And uh, I've never really seen that with a cell phone. You buy a brand new cell phone at the store and you put it right in your pocket and you carry it for years and you never even think about, you know, I've got my phone in my pocket right now. You never think about, you know, giving yourself cancer or otherwise hurting your body by having these devices next to you. Uh, Vox, to set Vox, press the menu button until the display shows Vox. The flashing icon will appear to the right of the channel number. And push the push the talk key. Very cool. All right, now we're gonna open up the clamshell here. Is there anything down in here? There's usually stuff down in these little... Usually stuff down in these little box bottoms. I don't wanna miss anything, throw it out. No special prizes. Panel comes off. Look at those little radios. Oh, they're so small. They would even say cute. Very nice. Well, I'm excited to try these out. They're just as light as I hoped they'd be. And uh, the pocket clip isn't what I thought it'd be. I thought it would be like a spring pocket clip, but it's just a piece of plastic. It doesn't have like a spring on it, you know? It's just the flexibility of plastic. So it'll stay on your belt, but 
I don't know how well it'll stay like on a shirt or on a strap that is being worn instead of uh, stuck into a belt where it's definitely going to stay. So, well, looking forward to putting batteries in these and trying them out. Okay, so to explain the test, we had this radio at home and we set it down on the table and we put this camera, the big Nikon, on a tripod and we used this to record the home base radio and then we took the GoPro and mounted it in the car and had it on a wide view so it could see us in the car and then we used this handheld mobile and we called back to the house every time we got a little bit further away from the house we'd call in at the different lights at the gas station making left turns and stuff doing a big loop around the back way coming back to the house so every time we transmitted on this radio this radio was receiving here's the setup it's all zoomed in you can see the picture there this camera is going to come with me i'm going to turn it on and off and i'm going to get footage of myself trying to make contacts back to this radio here and i'm going to leave the big camera on the entire time that i'm gone and uh, hopefully this gives us an idea of what the frs bands are like on these little radios and uh, see how far maybe up to the gas station or something around here. So let's go check it out. Testing operation. So this is audio from the inside of the car in the driveway, just probably 50 feet away from where the radio is right now. So this is audio from the inside of the car in the driveway, just probably 50 feet away from where the radio is right now. This is the first stop sign up the hill from the house. Now we're gonna keep going up the hill a little further. This is the first stop sign up the hill from the house. Now we're gonna keep going up the hill a little further. I think it'll work up to here. It's not that far, but eh, we'll see. All right, now we're up the hill uh, diagonally across this large space with lots of houses in between. And we're at the first stop sign, we're on the main. Now we're up the hill uh, diagonally across the large space with lots of houses in between, and we're at the first stop sign, we're on the main. All right, now we're going to drive a little bit down the highway here and see if the range dies on it. It's probably already dead. Bam. All right, we're just now on the highway. Uh, we just turned left. I'm guessing the sound probably isn't working. Uh, we're gonna keep checking it down past the next hill and then we're gonna make a U-turn at the next intersection. So on the highway, uh, we just turned left and I'm guessing the sound probably isn't working. Uh, we're gonna keep checking it down past the next hill and then we're gonna make a U-turn at the next intersection. I doubt it's still working. Let's see when we get home. Home sweet home, uh, let's see how we did. We have eight minutes left recording time before the camera cuts off by itself. I need to figure out why that happens and turn that off because I would like it to record until I run out of space or the battery uh -huh. dies. All right, so there's both radios and the GoPro and we're going to get to checking the footage and see what happened. So I'm thinking I can do something very similar uh, at Walmart. I can have the GoPro running in the car and then I can have my phone recording uh, my handheld usage and then um, we'll be able to see how it works in the Walmart. I think the Walmart, with all of its shelves and all of its metal and its big frame and its its big concrete structure, might pose a little bit of a um, threat to these half watt FRS radios. But it'd be interesting to see. Um, I'm sad I didn't have these when I was at the campsite. It would be cool to see if we could have talked back and forth from the springs and the bathrooms and the camp. So I'm gonna see if I can get some footage of testing these at Walmart, and maybe they'll do even better than I thought that they would at Walmart. All right, so we're going to do the Walmart test. This is one of the intended uses that my fiance and I will be able to talk to each other. If she runs into a store real quick and wants to have me on the radio, or if I go into the store and she's sitting in the car and she says, oh, I forgot, we need this, you know, it's just a handy little fun thing that we could do. We can keep in touch with each other and instantly have each other at our fingertips. The ability to just uh, communicate real quick and easy, no matter if the cell phone's lost or whatever, just make it a habit of grabbing the uh, radio and throwing it in the car 
pretty neat. I think it's something that's worthwhile. And uh, this Walmart test will be a good test to see if it works on the FRS channels. Anyone that doesn't want to pay for the uh, GMRS might like this video because they may end up not having to pay for anything more than a little FRS and using the FRS radio in and around the store and won't have to worry about whether or not what they're doing is legal. So I'm uh, here in the Walmart parking lot. I'm gonna go in and go ahead and do like a kind of four corners test and do some shopping and um, grab some stuff while I'm in there. And then I'm gonna record while I'm in there as well whenever I make the contacts so that I can edit it together. Four corners, I'm gonna do the close left corner first, far back right, uh, left and then far back right uh, and then this front right over here. Uh, I'm gonna set the GoPro up um, down on the floorboard while I'm gone. Now it's dark out and there's not enough light to really do anything on the floor. You normally wouldn't be able to see in the video anything going on on the floorboards, but uh, Hadley and I installed some red LED lights in the um, floorboard of my car and it's kind of neat. It gives this red glow here. I can change it to different colors. Red is pretty uh, hard to notice and it's just enough. It doesn't affect your night vision. It's just enough to uh, kind of see something if it falls on the floor or to root through a bag or something in the passenger seat without having to turn on the bright overhead lights and blinding me. I'm going to go ahead and set up the GoPro down on the floorboard and show you that. And I'm going to go ahead and go inside. I'm uh, starting the... I'm starting the four corners test now. I'm walking in. I'm starting the four corners test now. I'm walking in. Now I'm at the front door, front left. There's already some interesting people in this Walmart tonight. I'm walking through the produce section. I could have picked a better cart. I'm walking through the produce section. I could have picked a better cart. Now I'm back here in the back left of the store of the chip aisle. Now I'm back here in the back left of the store of the chip aisle. Getting all the chip stuff we want. Getting all the chip stuff we want. I don't really look at you weird for talking into a walkie-talkie by yourself. I'm back in the dairy aisle. It's cold back here. You ever just walk down an aisle and forget why you came there? This trail mix is the last thing I need and I just can't find it. Trail mix is the last thing I need and I just can't find it. This cart's making it hard to like talk on the radio and steer. Now we're pretty much at the very back of the store. Get along the shoe aisle. We get to the back corner of the store. It's so weird to come back here with like chips and salsa and raw chicken. We're pretty much at the very back of the store. We're as far away as we can get from the handset and uh, hopefully it's still receiving. It'll be a good test. So now we're going to go back and we're going to pay. We're as far away as we can get from the handset and uh, hopefully it's still receiving. So now we're going to go back and we're going to pay. And now we're in Sporting Goods, my favorite aisle. And now we're in Sporting Goods, my favorite aisle. If you don't look at the lures, you don't have to buy them. If you don't look at the lures, you don't have to buy them. In the middle of the checkout area. Back of the checkout. Walking back to the, uh, walking back to the car here, I'd say that that was a pretty successful uh, Walmart walk. Didn't have uh, LP staring at us or anything like that, so uh, wasn't too weird walking around with the radio. Here I am. Hey guys, thank you so much for watching the video. Uh, the radios have worked really well on the FRS bands with that half watt. I just got my license for the GMRS radio, so now I can operate at uh, higher power on the GMRS uh, bands. The rules have changed since 2017. It was a little confusing trying to figure that out. Now uh, it looks like any radio can broadcast on these FMS, FMRS, GMRS channels as long as uh, outside of that 0.5 watt uh, what used to be reserved for FRS uh, isn't um, above 2 watts, so 1 to 7 uh, you can use 2 watts if you want to. Um, and then um, GMRS can now use the FRS channels, uh, but it has to be 0.5 watts just like the FRS handsets, so I guess it doesn't overpower the FRS handsets. So um, it looks like uh, everything's working out pretty well. If you want to see how the GMRS uh, radio bands work, if it works any differently, I'm trying to find out if the radios will uh, use 2 watts or 4 watts or 5 watts. Uh, they're pretty small, so they probably use at most 2 watts. But I'm going to go check that out. I think the battery consumption will be a little bit worse. Um, but you know what? It'll be interesting to see if we can talk all the way to the Walmart on the GMRS bands or what used to be GMRS bands. 
So uh, thank you guys again for watching the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. If you, if you want to see more reviews like this one, check out the reviews playlist. But yeah, guys, thank you very much for supporting the channel, and we'll see you in the next video.